hi everyone if you are new here hi my name is lillian if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos so i already filmed this video before but i realized that it's too my tension my the whole thing is just too tense and some people can't watch a video like that so i have to redo it background story i am a nigerian may not be a nigerian of the popular tribes that you may have heard but i am one and according to the constitution of my country i am i am qualified to be a nigerian regardless of my tribe in nigeria so there's this video by i will say videos by a young nigerian man that is in ghana or was in ghana and the reason for my confusion about if he is or was is because i don't even understand each of the videos he come up with different complaints about how ghana treats him bad how this is this how this is this but i continue to see him still there and still complaining and still talking about the same country that he has a lot of things to say of if you are a nigerian or you are a ghanaian married to a nigerian or you ha you have a relationship with a nigerian or a ghanaian as the case may be and you are emotionally attached to someone and due to that you cannot see when someone is obviously wrong if i make a video you will come at the comment section and tell me i am a Ghanaian. Uh, leave them alone i beg you in god's name we have so many pro nigerian channels on youtube here you can check them out over there they bash Ghanaians. they do all sort of they say all sort of you can go there and enjoy their content mine is not for everybody with that being said i will go straight into the main thing this guy have been doing videos upon videos and let me just quickly play one of the very many videos he has going on on his channel and i will be back if you have not liked the video do where to like and of course don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed Ghanians have really really bad hygiene these people are still you i they are spending lifestyle. These people are stingy. Yeah. Very, very stingy. Over stingy, they worry Ghanaians. Now, number one on my list is their hygiene. Ghanaians have really, really bad hygiene. I'm not, this video is not about bashing on Ghanaians. I'm not really bashing them because I have lots of Ghanaian friends all around, not just in Ghana. I have lots of Ghanaian friends around. My, I have a Ghanaian friend in UAE, I have a Ghanaian friend in Qatar, I even have a Ghanaian friend in the US, even still in Ghana and in South Africa. Like, not just platonic friends, like close friends are Ghanaians. So I'm not actually bashing them, but I'm just bringing this out because it's something I've come to understand that these are their way of life. They don't see things differently. My, they are not saying there are no exceptions, there are exceptions, but you can see that it is the really, 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 really exposed Ghanaians that tend to be very different. So, their hygiene is very bad. These people are really, really dirty. This is just one of the very many videos I have seen on this channel and I have ignored. But I have continued to ignore him, believing that he will change attitude and maybe he's just feeling a certain way or maybe he's going to adjust. Because as a Nigerian, if you come to Ghana, it might take you a while to adjust and fit into the system here because of the difference in attitude of people from these two countries. In Nigeria, people are a lot more faster to welcome you as a total stranger without thinking twice, without wanting to know more of you before they completely trust you but in ghana the case is not like that there's there's a little bit of carefulness that ghanaian exhibits when they see a total stranger it's okay to argue that part but maybe that is my own experience and that is why i'm bringing and that is why i'm bringing it up here in this video and that is not just restricted to nigerians even white people in ghana ghanaians who just go about their lives is nothing new everyone is just doing their thing so it takes a while for the ghanaian people to completely you know attach themselves to you so if you are new in ghana i like to give you some time 
if you have any complaint to make i know you are going to adjust because at some point in time i felt that way just that i handled it differently but because i handled it differently does not mean that i want to be judgmental about those that handles it differently but the truth is one too many videos from the same person and it is the same complaint all the time and i feel like it is time we talk about this bro this nigerian man lives in ghana or visits ghana or is here for work or whatsoever for holiday these videos are coming and they won't stop coming now we already agreed that we should not be comparing ghana to nigeria because they are different they are unique we said okay we're not going to compare again even those of us that share our experience as long as that experience you are sharing is positive is going to make ghana or ghanaians look positive we will be shut down we shouldn't share it but we have ghanaians that do videos talking about their love for nigerians and nigeria even though some of these people have never been to nigeria before and nigeria is very close to ghana they will never they have never they have not even made the plan to visit but we know they sit down make videos some of us is okay they are doing for the views yes some are doing for the views but i can tell you for free that we have pro nigerian com um, channels by Ghanaians and they genuinely do feel what they are saying that is their own life and opinion and they are entitled to it it is their freedom as human but that is not a problem we see these videos we are okay with them you will not see a single comment by a Ghanaian at the comment section of these people everything is going good Ghanaians are not complaining they are not threatening them they are not writing in their national dailies about these people they are not seeing these people as a threat there is no threat to their lives so whatsoever and I kind of admire that a lot about Ghana but the same thing cannot be done when you make a video oh ah, in ghana they, they eat pepper in nigeria they know they eat pepper they will tell you to stop comparing that is just you one person sharing two of your experiences but they will tell you to shut up so because you saying they like pepper because maybe a lot of people like pepper it's going to make them like ghana case closed and for the fact that some of us are not from the majority tribes in nigeria so we don't have right to give our opinions just like it is always done back home but when it is the opposite side, when a Nigerian sits down and do condescending, downgrading, all sort of videos that are obviously disrespectful to Ghanaians or other African communities online, we, we see people applauding for them. And I cannot, I will never, I have never, in fact, I have never, and I will not start now supporting this. This guy is doing too much. And... Before I even go on to give my opinion, I would like to play another video of him. But before I play another video of him, I would like to tell you, Ghanaians, please do not take the law in your own hands. Me doing this video does not mean that I want this guy to be hot or be harassed or whatsoever. But I just want you to know that he is entitled to his own opinion and he does not in any ways represent all nigerians especially me i he does not represent me and he does not in any way represent the part of nigeria i come from but let me play another clip from this same individual and i will be back let's go i am going to be sharing with you reasons why ghana can never be as developed as nigeria yeah you heard me right these are the contents that we don't like listening to on social media. Reasons why Ghana can never be as developed as Nigeria. Yes, it's the truth. Ghana is not as developed as Nigeria. Although Ghana gained its independence before Nigeria. Ghana had its independence uh, 6th of March 1957. While Nigeria gained its independence 1st of October 1960. So you can say that it's safe to say that Ghana is older than Nigeria with three years. But still, Ghana has failed to I've been seeing tons of videos from the same person complaining doing this saying this and he says it it is not the usual cruise that we used to cash like where Ghanaians and Nigerians will do videos like a clip I'll play soon but there's no single Nigerian that is coding this guy telling him stop doing this type of videos and all that back in 2021 I remember a young Ghanaian lady 
that does videos something close to what this guy is doing it talks about her why she hates nigerians why she this i used to see a lot of Ghanaians leaving her comments telling her to stop doing videos like that they don't agree with her but the case is not like that with this young man he continued to do these videos and all that and nobody is seeing anything wrong with it and then tomorrow you guys will still come and say yeah the one that is selling out are we not doing ourselves me i have always thought that the arguments between Ghanaians and nigerians is this now let me play this fun video i'll be back Nigeria jollof is the best jollof rice Let's in the whole of Africa. Let's have it. Now lie, now Nigeria jollof. Ah. This is plain. Okay. What for them, Papa? Kwasiya, Omo Naija. Kwasiya. Who made me jump? In a culture, this is what all of us want to pretend it is, right? We all want to pretend that all the arguments, Nigerians and Ghanaians, all the banter is about the jail off. Now, people are hiding under that to do each other dirty, and we don't see the need to tell them to stop. This Ghanaian, I mean, this Nigerian guy keep on doing videos like that. Now he compares, he does this. Now, but I am not allowed to compare a university campus, which I'm going to start doing very soon. I am not allowed to compare a hospital, a, a, a university campus, something important. I'm not allowed to do it. Why, why are we afraid of comparison exactly? Why? And majority of the times, the people that don't want this comparison are Nigerians. But you will sit down and watch your son, your brother, your boyfriend. You just sit down and make videos putting other people down. You cannot scold them. You cannot scold them. You cannot say, hey, don't stop it. You don't see anything wrong with it. I have thought that this guy would change at some point, but it's not stopping. And I cannot continue to pretend that I'm not seeing this guy because I want to form. There is no, there's no gain in forming because I am a very humble person and I go low sometimes, very low. But it's fine because I'm human. Um, so this guy wouldn't stop. These videos keep coming and coming and coming and they are okay. Why so much hate for a country that, and even went further to say, that for you to love living in Ghana, it means you are a despicable person. You must be a despicable person. Really, bro? Then that is how despicable you are. Because I don't understand why you can't go back home, a country that is not working for you. You have so many things to complain about, but you still can't go away. It means you are despicable and even more despicable than, than the people you have said are despicable. This has nothing to do with me because there is nothing a Nigerian can tell me that gets to me. Because I know that we are not the brain of some nigerians their brains are not working they are not okay for some people you may be confused why do nigerians always look down on Ghanaians? for me i know why i have the answer to that it is because for some of us that behaves our, ourselves in nigeria if you behave yourself in nigeria you humble yourself you behave fine you just basically normal people will say you are poor or you are an illiterate so you are doing that because you want a favor normally normally for you to show that you are educated and rich you have to be arrogant and that is what turn a lot of nigerians on if you are humble and calm and that is the beginning of your downfall and i as a nigerian i struggled and that is why someone will tell you i can't live in nigeria check deep deep down down there and you will realize that it is because of their humble nature when Ghanaians were in Nigeria and they were all themselves, it simply means they are poor and uneducated. So they want favor. And that is why up to date, that is not going away. So for those that are confused, why, 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 that is why. But there's something these downlookers have in common and I'll be back. Let me play one more of his videos. I'll be back. This video is not about bashing on Ghanaians. I'm not really bashing them because I have lots of Ghanaian friends all around, not just in Ghana. I have lots of Ghanaian friends around. My, I have a Ghanaian friend in UAE, I have a Ghanaian friend in Qatar, I even have a Ghanaian friend in the US. 
even still in Ghana and in South Africa, like not just platonic friends, like close friends. What these people have in common is them always coming up with this phrase. I have Ghanaian friends who, some of my friends are Ghanaian. I have a lot of Ghanaian friends. I have a Ghana. But the question is, do your Ghanaian friends know these videos of you? How you put these people down or her people down? And this guy's own is that he even have a girlfriend or is it pepper girlfriend? You guys put an eye on this guy. He may just want to use this guy to get the Ghanaian passport because a lot is happening out there. And I will play tons of videos in this video. I may be right that this guy is up to something with that. Him just wanting to use this girl to get the passport or something because I mean, why not? People are crying. Let me play these clips. I'll be back. So this is one of those times where travel is not all fun and games. I'm at, um, I'm at Istanbul right now and I have a 22 hour layover here in Istanbul. Now before this ticket was booked, it's clearly stated on your website, Nigeria is listed amongst the countries that if we come here then we get a hotel if you have a 21 hour layover so you get an option of a hotel or you get an option of um, a tour package a free tour package both sponsored by turkish airlines i get here today uh to the help desk and they say um because of my nationality my nigerian passport basically i don't have access to going into istanbul um, for me, it would have to be a consulate visa, not a visa that you can get here at the airport or anything like that. Now, none of this is stated on their website for stopovers. I show up here this morning and in not so many words, they tell me there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. Uh, my passport is Nigerian. Oh, they offered me a meal ticket. And that's pretty much the best they can do. A meal ticket and then I have to sit here and wait for 21 hours at the airport. This makes me feel really bad. The staff here are just doing their job basically. What they were told is what they're doing. How did we get here? Like how did we get here? Where our passport is at the point where other people gain free access, free stuff, they get a free hotel, free everything. And then my Nigerian passport basically keeps me sitting in the airport for 21 hours. Who are the people in charge of negotiating these things? Is there any government agency in Nigeria who is in charge of making sure that Nigerians are not marginalized like this when they're traveling? Like, who, who are we supposed to talk to in Nigeria? Who is supposed to speak to Turkish Airlines to say, if you keep Nigerians in the airport for 21 hours, what provisions have you made for them? As a matter of fact, this airport has a hotel in it. But Turkish Airlines has no provision to keep Nigerian citizens in the hotel here. However, for any other person, I mean other nationalities, they get to go to a hotel for free or they get a tour package for free. Who is in charge of negotiating these deals, I'll ask again. Why are we being sold tickets without an option? Like, how, how, how did we get here? I've, I've spoken all the words I possibly can. I've said anything that is necessary to be said here. But it will seem their hands are tied. And right now they're trying to see if there's a possibility of taking me to the business class lounge. And that's the very best they can do for me uh, today. Where did we go wrong? These are one of the times that I feel really sad to be Nigerian and really, really sad that I do have a Nigerian passport. And if it's the last thing I do on earth, I would get another passport because this is the most unpleasant experience ever. And the only reason I'm going through this is because I am Nigerian with a Nigerian passport. This has to stop. I just came off a trip from my seventh year country and you would imagine that having traveled so much, you know, things will get easier. Well, sometimes it does not. And these are one of the sad realities of the Nigerian passport. This is an innocent Nigerian or maybe she's not so innocent, but that is a Nigerian, a fellow Nigerian in tears far away from Africa. 
so this hate and whatever resentment and carefulness of nigerians everywhere we go it's not just in africa far away in istanbul in turkey yeah so now she's she has vowed that she's gonna get a passport so where's she gonna go america you know the rules oh is she gonna go to kitty st kitts island or what's that place called to buy a passport like tire you know 150 us dollars bro that's a lot not all nigerians can afford it except of course bank managers and of course our dear untouchable politicians and our demigods musicians these are the only people that i know can afford this passport the rest that are vowing and crying are all turning to africa they are turning to their neighbors and mostly their target is ghana and they are coming here to get the passport <laughs> you watching this video one of you or a friend of you will help them to get it and then tomorrow you come back and say they hate us when they finish getting it they manifest now them getting the ghanaian passport is none of my business but it's my business to tell you but what you do with that information is not my business nigerians are getting ghanaian passport in ghana legitimately these are nigerians that have lived here for more than 10 years and they have lived here with no issues and of course nigerians that were born raised in ghana and of course maybe nigerian that became ghanaian by marriage these people are entitled to this passport but what about the others that you are helping to get because you are romantically involved with them uh, especially the ladies i wanted to say the guys but the ladies do this thing they, they do it man give you belay you never marry you you help him make you get your country passport and he's still gonna dump you and you'll be hot then tomorrow you look for who to transfer that hits on you come on my channel hey you nigerians chale ghana they watch you ghana spiritually they see you if you come on my channel after doing all that to hate on me for being a nigerian door sis man pacho the land is watching you so but you know there's something that interests me about this guy ghana herself you know say ghana ghana has spirit ghana like every other country every country on head has a spirit and i am a strong believer of the spiritual realm even though i'm not a spiritual person to the core you may not see me go to church every day and definitely you can never and you will never find me you will never find me at a witch doctor's home seeking for miracle or whatever but I strongly believe in the spirit realm and I believe that every country has a spirit. Ghana spirit, they very like it, it they be like um there's a way Ghana behaves. Uh you so the, the spirit mother Ghana spiritually. I mean I'm not talking about Ghana that you see. I know that educated people have issues with religion or overly exposed people have issues with religion but I don't have issues with religion and I believe in the spirit. There is a way Ghana would do you when you constantly stay in this land and all you have to do is to talk down on the land, curse the land, insult the land. Do, uh, you don't see no good. The country itself spiritually will come for you and that is what they did to this guy. And I love it in a way, even though I think he's lying. <laughs> I'll tell you me reason why I'm crying like this. Eh? Um, so today I'm actually going to be discussing my ordeal with you in Ghana. I'm broken hearted. As at when I made this video, this is that first of March. The Ghanaians are really terrible people. Do you know now Ghanaians they have so many churches in every corner. The way police is in every junction in Nigeria. Churches are in every junction. Mosques are in every junction. Yet these people and eh, their hearts they as in it's as black as i don't these people are in fact even satan when god created the country ghana satan was shocked because it seems like satan is an angel we are ghanaians are ghanaians are extremely terrible people i mean like eight thousand ghana cities and you do not have a momo you you get gay when you they sleep with for ghana here you know if you use our phone number to collect money when you say your clients get to pay you i've been having your own money and just asking i'm not accusing you i'm only asking because if that money is legit why won't you get your own sim card and use it to receive payments at some point in time i was illegal in ghana which we do not see as a big deal but there are so many things i 
couldn't assess that is such as such as owning a bank account and owning a sim card what i did is i had people that trusted me and i, I spoke to someone and he opened a mobile money number for me in his name and i was using that so what have you been using to make calls since you come ghana that you cannot use that same number or tell the person that created that number for you to create a mobile money number for you to receive payments so you just saw someone on the road you went to meet them and tell them you want to receive payments so they ran away with your money according to this guy and i like the fact that that happened to him i wish it's true bro yeah don't come for me oh ask your fellow nigerians that have attempted something about you know that have attempted to do me harm ask them what they usually get i know they fight nobody oh. my own beside will tell you truth where you fuck up I'll tell you where you make your mistakes because all of us cannot be the same. Where some of you from some region will come up with this, your attitude, the ones you have been doing at home to other people, you do this thing every single day. A lot of my friends have already blocked me on WhatsApp from some region in Nigeria because I called Ivo by, by its name because I said, uh, uh, wait, oh, why he be say he's only Nigerian from a particular region that have this attitude that this guy has always coming why so because i said that your sisters some of you your brothers and sisters that are my distance friends they already blocked me they don't want to have anything to do with me again they say i hate their people but it's okay for you to sit down and hate on other people's country and still be there nothing is happening to you and you still come and say i have a lot of ghanaian friends what are you feeling like are you good or oh, wait i think this guy is bitter so what happens to this guy in ghana i like it if i thought you lost money i'm happy for you but how did you make that money that they can't pay to you and you said you created a content and give to hey every year oh boy gets to reach out go tell you say they get company they get this you can never catch any so which work do they do when they give you eight thousand cities and you know get mobile money you know if you use the girl when you your girlfriend when you show us for that video you know if you use our mobile money to receive the money what is this anyways i wish that what you said happened to you actually did yeah i wish it happened to you uh -huh. i know you have um, ghanaian girlfriends or girlfriend you may want to use them to come for me i have jehovah he's gonna protect me i wish that it's true that you got scammed because i mean what are you still doing in a country that you dis dis dislike so much what are you still doing here go home every day this guy will say nigeria is better than ghana nobody is arguing with you i believe so let me play this video to show how nigeria is better than ghana especially the nigerian hospitals i'll be back no hospital no doctor abk no doctor they go live now see him but see the guy no doctor Doctor, no doctor, no light for hospital. A whole hospital, no lights, no lights, no doctors, no nurse, nothing. If person they die, now so go die. No. No doctor, nothing. See them. Solar body that they use for hospital. I got the motor. Follow me fast. Yes. Uh, many, many, many of you. Many guys. Full yeah. hospital. No, calm down. See, pursue it. No, no light, no doctor. If person they die, now so he go die. What's the name of the stupid hospital? Say? No. Mm -hmm. You can't see. It's better now. A uh, hospital where no, no light. No light. No light. No doctor. No nothing. It's better than Ghana. Eh? Well done, oh, you go there, all right. But it's okay, let's move forward. So this guy is, is, oh, every day, this is what you have to do, what you have to do. I'm not saying you should say Ghana is better than Nigeria, of course. I don't care. It doesn't change anything. Your opinion on, on Ghana or of Ghana or on me or people changes nothing. But why do you still stay in that same country? Go home to your own country that is, is, is working for you. I wish that what you said happened to you is actually true. Mm. I wish it's true. I wish it's true. And you come for me, God will strike any ask your people now that have attempted to do that nonsense with me. Because it's not it's not good. They will never score you never see a Nigerian lift a finger to tell their kids don't do this to other people and that's why you we end up people end up raising bullies you sometimes when I see crime stories, my heart goes out to I, I feel like see 
I feel like the families that gives birth to these criminals that go out to kill other people's kids, they should also be charged. Because I believe if you have been correcting your child, teaching them to respect other people, they won't, they won't just do what they are doing to other human beings. What is this? Hmm? What is this? It's okay. Oh. This guy said, it looks like, let me play this video. I think he's missing this. I'll be back. <laughs> today, not today. Oh. Mm, it looks like someone that can actually do this thing that these guys did in this video. It looks like a guy that can abuse a woman physically. And if you know his girlfriend, I will tell you to tell her family to put an eye on them because this guy feed a collar within this guy because someone like this guy he, he looks like that he looks like a, a, a type of man that can do that mm, and he's missing home because yeah there is no freedom for you to do it that's if you're not already doing it now nah, another thing is wait wait what is this you don't like a country the country is not up to your own the, the people are this and that okay hold on could it be that you are a bob risky or the, is it because of the a uh, gay law that they passed in ghana is yet to be signed or you are angry with ghana because of that the gay law the gay b that they, they they talked about they have not signed it yet stop it hating i mean like what is this for the girls and the guys that will be helping all these people to get their passport illegally because you are romantically involved with them you give your country away well, well done oh, ask nigerians that is how nigerians used to be some Nigerians used to be very good and welcoming. They will help you. And now this is how, where we are today. Ask me now, where are we today? We are the one crying at different airports. I know we have our own inside body, but our overwhelming attitude cost it. Now, any day you see me, Lillian, like this, Lily, coming to say, give me or help me get Ghana passport, don't hesitate to get the police involved and don't hesitate to film me, announce it to the world, disgrace me. What is this? We have to tell ourselves the truth. Ghana, some Nigerians are doing too much and our people are just cool with it. Tell me how we are going to know the word peace when we constantly put other people down. This guy, you can go back to Nigeria. Why not? Why don't you go? Abi, they know they do remote work for them. You, you want to create content, go home. Create the content from there and send the videos to your clients. And even they see other of his video, they can't they do politics for Ghana. Like, like, damn it, damn it, bro. Make it make sense to me. Say you get the audacity to come another person country, they can't they read orientation. Like, what? Like, what exactly are you feeling like? I started calling evil by its name and evil fleet. All right. There, there's this particular girl that does like this guy. She will come, sit down. Eh, Ghanaians are did this. Ghanians. So when I came for her neck like this on this youtube ask ask about me ask about me i'll be on your case even Ghanaians cannot rescue you those that will come and tell me leave him alone you can't rescue when i will do these videos i will do these videos it's and mother ghana spiritual and god in heaven will protect me because what is this that girl now she have changed she, she have stopped talking about ghana she's now doing videos of hating on americans and america comparing america with other um, asian with um with chinese and india and all that with russia whatever country is good for her hating pretty on an american app and hating on america no, no get sense now you're already hanging around a ghanaian girl you know is this it is this guy is comparing let me play this video let me play this video he's comparing a market at a countryside at the Ashanti region to a market in Port Harcourt and Lagos. You good? But we cannot compare a university in a country that says they have it all going. So we are on our way to the markets. Anyway, it's very far from here. It's as if we are traveling to another city. <laughs> so that's where we are going to get the things for the Ebunebunu. So let's see if Ghanaian soup will be tasting better than Nigerian soup. <laughs> so we had few coins on us to purchase the food stuff. So we headed into the market, but this market was not giving. It's not like the Balogu market or um, Rumokuru market. But what do I know? So we came. I do not hate my country, but trust me, 
I wish that Nigeria has only some people and don't have some because this down looking thing is too much. It's too much. It's wrong. Nobody will tell you, but it's wrong. As for me and my household, you can only hate me, but you can't touch me. They can't they read orientations for people. The tribes when you mentioned there for the video. Hey, I call them. How do you treat those ones back home in Nigeria? You treat them like they are trash because you feel you are better than them. Una go day, alright. I'm done with this video. Continue. Mr. Hater, they do like um, Broberiski. Oh, I've been at that one, they vest you. Say they don't, they toss it, they don't ban all those people for Ghana. Why are you angry? You came here and started doing politics, maybe on purpose or. Hey, 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 thank God I didn't forget. There's this thing this guy said. He said this about the politics in Ghana. And the Ghanaian youth are not even involved, are not really involved in the political affairs of Ghana. They, you were involved what have you done with your life we keep recycling our leaders we keep going back is it that we don't have a young confident nigerian that can lead we do so all the involvement what has it what has it resulted into what has it what have we done with our lives basically have we been able to get a rolling yet yet is that same attitude they did they had they were able to bring leaders that will liberate them not a judge with you, you know, no. Not a judge. Yeah, this guy, you see, this guy, you will send your girlfriend or whoever you send to me. It will come back to you. Because enough, if other people won't tell you, they will abandon their issues. So they will not even, you see some of these people who just raise their kids. They will not advise them, oh, respect other people. Oh, uh -huh. They will just raise them like that. And these people will go out and become bullies. These people have done a whole lot of damage to the, to the passport. See, the words you say to people, you think it's okay for you to hate on people i have not even hated on your people though i only said some of you from that region why are you in the habit of doing these videos some of my friends no longer talk to me they have cut me off they have blocked me on whatsapp because i condemned the attitude of some of their people so it means i shouldn't have their people are perfect but it's okay for you to sit down they carry the name of nigeria they rub they, they rub for granted in the name of uh, feeling superior Firstly, it has to stop don't hurt this guy. I don't hate on him. This guy should just get out. What is this? You guys, I believe strongly that some Nigerians, I like him, oh, his own is even good, though. But some Nigerians, if they have opportunity, they just want to grow their channel using Ghana to grow their channel, then they will turn the channel and turn it against, they will change their content to now use it as an avenue to use it to, you know, bully Ghanaians. But there's a way Ghanaians follow them. There's a way Ghanaians follow them. Ghanaians, you, you love Ghana. <laughs> you love you so much. This is how Ghanaians do. We love you too. Then when you don't, they grow the channel. They go, you want to turn, use their channel to take, change your orientation. They say, go leave you. You go there like graveyards. Enough is enough. Stop disrespecting other people. None of you will even criticize your politician. Nobody, everybody is right. Did you tell them that in Lagos, you don't even have rights? You didn't tell them. Okay, fine, let me tell them. In Lagos, this Abino don't have rights. What is this? You do these videos every day, every, you know, they tire. You don't like person in country, go back. Yeah.